Welcome to our lesson on solving a pair of quadratic and linear equations simultaneously using the method of substitution. So here we have two equations, a linear where y is equal to x plus 2 and a quadratic y is equal to x squared minus 4. And to understand what it looks like when we solve these equations, we can sketch with two graphs. So we have a y and an x-axis. We have our linear y is equal to x plus 2, and our quadratic x squared minus 4. So our solutions will give us the coordinates at where the two lines intersect. And the method of substitution means we write one equation with one unknown. So we're going to write the quadratic, which means we're going to substitute this expression for y into this y term in the quadratic equation. So now we have x plus 2 is equal to x squared minus 4. So all I've done, I have substituted x plus 2 into this value of y. Because at these two points, the two y's are equal. So now we can solve this quadratic by making it equal to 0. We'll take away the x. We'll take away the 2 from both sides. These will cancel. So now we have 0 is equal to x squared minus x minus 6. We'll factorise this quadratic. So we have 0 is x minus 3 and x plus 2. Which gives us our solutions where x is equal to 3 and x is equal to negative 2. So now we can tell that the x coordinate of our intersections, this is when x is negative 2. And this is when x is equal to 3. So now we're going to work out our y values by substituting x into y equals x plus 2. So when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 5. And when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 0. So our y values is negative 2 and 0, and then 3 and 5. And these are our solutions, here and here. OK, let's try another question. So in this question, we have a quadratic, 2x squared minus, minus y minus 8x is 0, and x plus y plus 3 is 0. And to solve this, I'm going to write this y in terms of x. So I need to make y the subject of this equation. So I'll take away x and 3 from both sides. These will cancel. So y is equal to minus x minus 3. And now I'll substitute this expression for y into our quadratic. So 2x squared minus, minus x minus 3. Take away 8x. And this is 0. We'll expand the brackets. So we have 2x squared plus x plus 3 minus 8x. We'll collect the like terms. So 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. And now we can factorise this quadratic. So we have 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. So our solutions are when x is equal to negative one half and when x is equal to three. So now I can work out the y values by substituting x into the easiest equation. So when x is equal to negative one half, y is equal to minus three and a half and when x is equal to three y is equal to negative six so these are our solutions here and here okay let's try another question so do you want to try and solve these simultaneous equations yourself you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready so i'm going to begin by writing this y in terms of x. So I need to make y the subject of our linear equation. 
which I can do by taking away x and adding 6 to both sides. So 2y is 6 minus x. And then I'll divide both sides by 2. And I'll substitute this into our quadratic. So we have 6 minus x, which is for y, over 2, is x squared minus 6x. I'll multiply both sides by 2. And these will cancel. So we have 6 minus x is 2 lots of x squared minus 6x. We'll expand the brackets. So 2x squared minus 12x. And I will make it equal to 0. So this is 2x squared minus 11x minus 6. Which we can factorise. So 2x plus 1 and x minus 6. And this is equal to 0. So our x values are when x is equal to negative 1 half and x is equal to 6. And then finally, we'll substitute x into the easiest equation, which is 6 minus x over 2 to find y. So when x is equal to negative 1 half, y is equal to to 3.25 and our other solution when x is equal to 6 y is equal to 0 okay let's try one final question so in this question we've been given the line y is equal to 5 minus x and the quadratic here and the two lines will intersect at points m and n and we've been asked to work out that length in the form p root 2 do you want to begin by sketching the graph yourself you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So here we have a rough sketch and we've been asked to work out the length of m to n, which is this length here. So I'm going to begin by working out the coordinates of m and n through substitution. So I'm going to substitute this value of y, 5 minus x, into here. So 5 minus x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2 will make it equal to 0, so we have x squared minus 2x minus 3, which we can factorise, x minus 3 and x plus 1. So our x values are 3 and negative 1. We'll substitute x into y is 5 minus x. So when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2, and when x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 6. So now we're going to work out the length of m to n, and I'm going to do this by drawing a sketch of a right angle triangle, where m to n is for hypotenuse. The height from m to n is a change in y, which is 4, and the length is a change in x, which again is 4. So we can find the hypotenuse as the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared, which is the square root of 32, which we can simplify to root 16, root 2. So we have 4 root 2. So in this question, P is 4. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.